Everybody, welcome back to Helldivers, and I wanted to just do a real quick video about how difficulty works in this game, because it can be a little bit confusing to start off with. So when you're choosing a mission, the in enemy a has launched a surprise war, attack on one of our And let's planets. say we went it here, needs our aid. and we chose this planet here. If you look at them in the bottom of the screen in the middle, you see it says number one trivial. And what I can do is, depending on the prompts you see, so I'm using an Xbox a controller, so it's RB. I Each can then change this to easy, medium, to and challenging. Um, I can't do hard yet because I haven't unlocked that. Because you have to do and be successful in each of the missions to be able to unlock the next level. Um, and the way that this works is it isn't done really on the difficulty of the enemies. It's done on different enemy types, um, the amount of enemies, and also the things you have to do. So when you're playing on trivial, Basically, the primary objectives you will have will be enemy patrols. They'll be simple things. You can see it says there at the bottom. When you move up to easy, you've now got tactical objectives um, to achieve, and they can be they can be different ones. Um, so it could be things Operation like this one is retrieve essential question. personnel. And then when we go up to medium, we've got secondary objectives. We've got medium outposts to take out heavily armored. Um, uh, enemies. So if we look at this sort of thing, so this is kill automaton automatons to reduce their numbers. There's an area to defend as well. Retrieve the essential personnel, and then if we go up to challenging, again let's see we've got. So now we'll have enemy tactical objectives, heavy outposts, and heavily armored enemies again. This is retrieve essential personnel. So the game is physically changing as you're changing the difficulty level. Because you may well start playing it and go, well, actually, this is quite easy now. You know, once you've got a hang of calling in orbital strikes and using the different weapons and things. And you might think, well, these all these enemies are easy. Well, what you need to do is, as soon as it becomes easy <laughs> to complete a mission, you go up to medium and then challenging and then henceforth and then the missions become significantly harder and again it's because you've got more enemies and you've got more you get more difficult enemies so you get like the uh, ATST start coming in all the really big bugs and stuff like that and the game changes you know um, I always think of uh, I remember playing GoldenEye on the N64 many 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 years ago and playing it on easy and go well this is rubbish it's, it's incredibly easy because the way that they controlled the difficulty in GoldenEye was that if you played on easy, you only had like to do two objectives. When you played on the harder levels, you had lots of more objectives to achieve that you can do. And this is exactly the same with um, Helldivers 2. You know, the harder the difficulty, um, the more objectives you, you can do to complete it, or you may well have to do to complete it. Um, and also, uh, you can actually do more in the level as well, and hence more XP. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. Um, and the best way to try it is just to whack up the difficulty and try one of the harder missions and you'll kind of see for yourself. So anyway, that's enough for me. Hopefully that helps. And uh, put your questions in the comments down below. And of course, I will see your you Your fellow Helldivers rage against the enemy's tyranny. Do it, ma'am.